Hey, Marty. Oh, 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 hey, Dad. Menu bar. What a great menu that bar is. Depending on who you are, it can be small or huge. Mine is at least average. Useful. Containing some utilities like Maki, some color picker, stats to monitor your, I don't know, OCD. Useless. But this one is debatable. Maybe you need to know how full the International Space Station's urine tank is in real time, right? It might be sorted. And those mysterious three dots have something to do with it. About that later. Or not sorted. The best thing is that you are deciding which layout is what. Hi, I'm Mr. Scion and Enik hope that you leave finite hebe. Let's start our breakthrough from the right side. Calendar or time. Click on it to reveal the notification center and your widgets. What's more? Okay, next. Control center. Many tweakers, buttons and sliders, so have fun. But you can actually do one particular thing, which is cool. Drag whatever you want from here directly to the menu bar. The access to that thing is then much easier. Also, in the settings, go to the control center section and you can do the same thing here and turn on some other modules like customized battery look or extensive customization of the clock's appearance. Well, I'll stick to digital probably. Battery battery and some other stuff that you randomly saw in a youtube video and for yeah that's cool yeah i will use that that's funny but the thing is when you do not manage those menu bar apps it looks like this and the space here is pretty limited trust me so at some point you won't see your new fancy essential app okay i promise i'll stop referring to that or will i so what to do? Ice, that's the name of the app. What Ice does to other similar apps like let's say paid bartender is... Okay, a little disclaimer. I know Bartender is far more developed and has some unique features that Ice might not have yet or won't ever have due to its design and purpose. But today we are talking only about the menu bar and having that in mind in direct comparison, Ice is free and does not have some SUS developer stuff going on, but mainly it's free. Free, just like subscribing to this channel. By the way, this number grown so fast even though, what? We all know that free is the only fair price, so please consider leaving a like, also free, and subscribing to the channel. It'll be a shame to miss something out with my regularity, or actually lack of it. Back to the... In the description you'll find a link to the official site where you can download this called app. Since it requires more advanced permission to work properly, I'll guide you through the download process, which is smash name a fair price, <laughs> click, give huge marketing corporations your email, add a tip because it won't let us through. Of course, I highly encourage you to support a project like this. Thank you, Jordan. It is an amazing work and it's super nice of you to give access for free. Good. It is downloading because we purchase it. Now click. Double click, drag the ice to the applications folder and we can delete that zip file. Now open the ice, clear the sassy baka, something already happened. Now reopen the ice once again and here it is. So let's experience what it does. Well first I'll actually set it up as I had it before. It was a mess but some apps disappeared. Where are they? When you point your cursor anywhere on the menu bar all of the hidden icons appear again. Isn't it great? I find having so many icons visible here super distracting. Also some of them have absolutely no use when being visible. For example ChatGPT. I've never used this icon. There is an option plus space shortcut which is way more handy but the app must be open in the background to work so the icon appears in the menu bar i know that most apps give you the option to hide it well no chat gpt turns out it needs to be visible somewhere but well i might not want it to waste an icon slot in the menu bar and here is the moment when eyes joining in you can open the eyes settings by right clicking its icon or just typing eyes into the spotlight search let's start with in my opinion the most important tab here the menu bar layout you'll see three sections here and those two are pretty obvious views at this point. The visible section is always visible on the menu bar and the hidden section contains additional apps that will appear when activated by the cursor. Of course you can freely reorder your apps to match your preferences. But what is this always hidden section? It is an additional menu where I keep all of the app icons I don't need to see or I nearly never interact with. Even though it's called always hidden, the access is actually super simple. Just hold the option key while hovering over the menu bar and click on it. That's about it here, so let's jump into the general. Let's quickly explore these settings. Launch at login, check. Show eyes icon, choose your pill. You can also customize the app icon. Most of the time I use these dots, but 
kind of crazy actually. Use ice bar. This setting changes a lot when it comes to using the hidden apps. When it is on, all of the hidden apps appear in a separate section below the menu bar. Turn this off and it extends it to the left but in the same place. You can also change the location when this option is on. Play with it and choose the one that behaves as you want it to. As far as I'm concerned, dynamic works flawlessly. Now, show, show, show. On click, you click. On hover, you hover. This one is a nice touch. On scroll, scroll up, it shows. Scroll down, it hides. The next one is automatic rehidden but to be honest I tried it and I have no clue what it does but when set up like this the app seems to work normally one section left and it's beta and since every viewer of this channel is at least Sigma or Alpha we can skip that Okay, but let's say you're curious what it does. Item spacing. More to show than to say, so here's the default, and here is let's say 10. It might be buggy with some apps, also make sure that applying haven't closed some of them, but overall it seems to work pretty well in my case. Pretty well. So check check. Now please, please do not destroy your menu bar with this powerful tool, because in the end it can look like this. Use it only if you have PhD in design or any common sense. These are pretty cool options. For example, I do visually like the shape kind change to split. It looks different, and in this case I think it's a good thing. But after all, I do prefer the default look of the menu bar, so it's not really for me. But you can give it a nice touch, even distinguish appearance between dark and light mode. Nice. Hotkeys. You can do basically everything with them, if everything means those six settings. That was funny, I guess. As you can see, all of mine are empty. But I know there are more advanced keyboard users out there, so it's a great option. This one is cool, I will assign something for now and it's basically the spotlight search for the menu bar apps probably more cool than useful but hey it's an option advanced i know you are what i do have are a very particular set of skills but to be honest i find only this section in this tab important and these are just the time sliders self-explanatory show on hoover delay 0.2 is almost instant one makes you wait remember your time is valuable and the temporarily shown item delay is when you click the app from the hidden menu it appears in the visible menu bar and when enacted stays here for this long. And I think just like this we covered major of the menu bar features and gave it a huge boost by freezing it with ice. A grade up. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching to the end. Oh, actually, one more thing. I want to tell you that only Jordan supports this channel. I did place a Patreon link in the descriptions of the last videos, but didn't mention it anywhere yet. So there are two possible scenarios. Jordan found himself reading the description where you can always find an amazingly interesting afterthought section. Also today. Or... I want to provide you with high quality videos, but honestly, it takes so much time that it's hard to balance it reasonably with private life, studies and work. Monetizing this channel and gathering community on Patreon would surely make it easier for me. And I would be able to focus on YouTube even more. Trust me, he would never hurt a police officer. You did more stupid things with 420. <laughs> Than this, and all that money I would gain will eventually end up being invested into the channel to upgrade, for example, my studio. Links to everything are in the description. Thank you, Jordan. You all be well, and until next.